Hi, I'm Alex Guarnaschelli from Alex vs. America, and I'm just gonna assemble and chit chat a little bit about some of my favorite cheeses, and then little accompaniments that can go with it. So here I have in front of me just a traditional board. Super fun to get a big one. It can be any material you want. The first cheese that I kind of put down is always, I kind of go from the mildest to the strongest. That's generally my rule. So here I have cow's milk cheese that is just aged about 11 days, sold and served in this little vessel that is oven ready, if you know what I mean. Mild, creamy, and really luscious American made cheese. Next up, um, I'm gonna go into Italy. You got it. This is called La Tour. It's got the texture of goat's cheese, but it doesn't have that tang. It's milder and more subtle because of the mixed milks. It's funny, this is a block of Gruyere. It's a Swiss made cheese. I always think of it as French because it's everywhere in France. And this is a great cheese. So right here, you could stop here and really have a cheese board that people would be happy with. This is Parmigiano Reggiano. This is God's nectar. It's only made in one place in the world. This might be one of the cheeses that I might cut up to just indicate to people an example of how they should eat it. Um, and then last, another Italian blue, little gorgonzola. Classic cow's milk Italian blue cheese. This I like because it's sort of that mixture of crumbly and creamy at the same time. Oh, it just tastes like Italy to me. So this would be like a real classic cheese board. Now what would I put with it? Well. I might get into some um, fennel salami or some spicy soppressata. Now I also have some prosciutto. Prosciutto is non-smoked, non-brined pork, pretty blunt force salt. So I would park those with the two milder cheeses so that they get a little lift from the salinity of this great ingredient. But you can do this any way you want, by the way. I'm just like, honestly, I'm just having a good time. Mortadella, because it's so underappreciated. This is basically bologna, people. It's not that crazy. Utensils are also important. People come up and they go, oh, it looks beautiful, but they don't know how to dig in. Park a utensil next to each thing. Really give people kind of a blueprint, like, hey, here's something for you to dig into that with so that it's clear. And now the last thing is maybe, do I wanna add some other stuff like a little bunch of grapes? Any fruit you want or dried fruit, prunes, apricots, whatever, next to those really deep salt high horsepower cheeses, some olives. Here I have some classic black olives. You could use some Serignola or Castle Vetrano, the beautiful green olives if you like those better. California olives, Italian olives, Spanish olives, also good. And then I always put honey, because I find people want to drizzle blue cheese with honey or anything. I feel like people sometimes want a little bit of sweetness. You could use dried fruit in the same way, and it's so beautiful. And then some bread. Crunchy crackers if you like that. If you came to someone's house and you weren't in your own home, how would you feel comfortable digging in? So those little nuances, slice the bread, add the utensils so people know how to navigate what you've done. I guarantee when you turn around, this thing will be empty. Come on over, we'll make one together.